Hello everyone, welcome back to the K-Pop Mania channel. The continuing case of Suga BTS falling off the electric scooter in a drunken state seems to have captured all the attention of netizens. Not a few haters used this opportunity to get Yeonhee out of the group that had made his name. Although Suga's actions were never justified by the ARMY, the ARMY has always been at the forefront of defending Suga BTS from untrue news. The outraged army over the case chose to support the idol through streaming and making reports. Suga's presence at his first trial yesterday made his press colleagues excited. Until there were two reporters, allegedly from Dispatch, who jostled Suga. He asked, what was the reason why you didn't come to the police station immediately? After being caught driving drunk, said a male reporter, did you only have one drink? A female reporter said, what do you think about the public's opinion of your departure from BTS? The female reporter asked again. Feeling that dispatch was asking inappropriate questions, ARMY seemed to get angry. The ARMY rallied to report the dispatch account until two dispatch accounts were suspended. Well, hopefully this BTS Suva case will be resolved soon my. A shocking incident occurred when the social media account of a prominent Korean media outlet was suspended after asking Suga one of the members of BTS, a controversial question in front of a police station. The incident sparked a debate among netizens and K-pop fans. The incident began when Suda, also known by his real name Min Yunji, was seen leaving a police station in Seoul after fulfilling his obligations as a South Korean citizen. As is known, all Korean men are required to serve in the military, and Suva had just completed a number of administrative procedures related to this. However, upon exiting the police station, a journalist from the media immediately asked a question that was deemed inappropriate by many, especially the army, as BTS fans are known. The question is considered to invade Shuba's privacy and cause discomfort. As a result of this action, the media's social media account immediately received a wave of criticism from netizens. Many considered that the questions asked had no relevance and only aimed to provoke a reaction from Suga. It didn't take long for the authorities and social media platform managers to respond to this incident. The platform's social media accounts were temporarily suspended, signaling that the actions of their journalists were not in line with expected journalistic ethics. Meanwhile, BTS agency Bigot Music has yet to make an official comment regarding this incident. However, they have previously emphasized that they will take legal action against anyone who violates the privacy of BTS members. BTS fans ARMY, showed their solidarity with Suga through various social media platforms, asking that their idol's privacy be respected. They also hoped that the media would be more careful in reporting news related to their artists, especially when it comes to personal and sensitive matters. This incident is an important reminder of the importance of maintaining ethics in news coverage, especially in a world that is increasingly connected through social media. After all, good journalism should always prioritize honesty, fairness, and respect for the individuals being reported. The lawyer who assisted Suga BTS has finally been revealed. He is the same lawyer who handled the case of former Super Junior Idol group Personnel Kanjin in 2016. The lawyer is known by the initials E, is a former prosecutor who is now turned into one of the criminal law experts who often handles criminal cases in the South Korean entertainment world. On August 23, 2023 at around 7.45 p.m. local time, Suga was present at the Yongsan police station. Seoul to undergo an examination regarding allegations of driving an electric scooter under the influence of alcohol that occurred on August 6, 2024. Lawyer A was seen accompanying Shuva during the examination process until he was interviewed by the media. It is known that the lawyer quit the Seoul Central District Prosecutor's Office in 2008 and joined one of the major law firms in South Korea. He is known to have qualified experience in handling celebrity legal cases a was chosen by Shuhith to handle his accusation case. In 2016, A was also the lawyer handling Kangjin's case, who was accused of driving under the influence and crashing into a streetlight near a convenience store in Sinsadong. The case ended with Kangjin receiving a fine of 7 million South Korean won without filing an appeal. 
The involvement of the same lawyer in these two cases shows that the Korean entertainment industry often faces serious legal issues that require the help of experienced legal experts. The presence of Ad and Suga's defense shows how important solid legal support is for dealing with these kinds of allegations. Suga's case is now in the public spotlight, given his position as a member of one of the biggest K-pop groups in the world. Fans and the public at large await further developments, hoping that the final outcome will be in accordance with the law and fair. In the wake of the incident, discussions about journalism ethics and celebrity privacy protection have intensified on social media and online forums. Many supported the move to suspend the media's social media accounts, arguing that it was necessary to prevent the spread of inappropriate information and suppress unethical behavior from journalists. On the other hand, some consider that the account suspensions have the potential to limit press freedom. They argue that even if the questions asked are not inappropriate, the account suspension could be seen as too drastic a measure. This debate reflects the growing tension between freedom of expression and privacy protection in the digital age. The Korean Journalists Association issued a statement expressing concern over this incident. They emphasized the importance of maintaining ethical standards in covering the news, especially when it comes to individuals who are in the public spotlight. They also reminded journalists to be more careful in asking questions, especially in sensitive situations like Suga's. However, the association also reminded that press freedom is a pillar of democracy that must be respected. They encourage dialogue between the media, celebrities, and the public to find a balance between the right to privacy and press freedom. Suga himself, known as a calm and professional person, has yet to respond to this incident. However, BTS fans understand that this situation may put more pressure on the idol, who is already facing many challenges regarding his career and personal life. BTS, which is currently on hiatus as its members are serving in the military, is always in the public and media spotlight. Their every move is scrutinized, and this often triggers huge reactions from both fans and the media. This latest incident adds to the long list of instances where BTS members' privacy has been compromised for the sake of news. With this incident, many hope that the media will be more careful in covering celebrity-related news. The public is also becoming more aware of the importance of maintaining the privacy of individuals, even when they are public figures. On the other hand, social media platforms are expected to be stricter in enforcing rules and ethics, especially in relation to the dissemination of information that could be considered harmful to certain parties. The suspension of social media accounts can be an important lesson for all parties to be wiser in using social media as a tool for information dissemination. The incident highlights the importance of the balance between press freedom and privacy protection, especially in an era where information can quickly spread through the internet. Hopefully, this incident can be a turning point for the media to be more careful in covering the news and more respectful of individual privacy, including celebrities like Suga BTS. Thank you for watching this video. Don't miss it in the next new video, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you all.